Good morning, Traveler. Jean, your clothes! Well, this is a complex and evolving situation, so we should be ready for any eventuality. For security reasons, we changed back into more combat-ready attire, even though it may not allow us to make the most of the surroundings. My apologies. Oh, don't apologize. It's in everyone's best interest. Well, that certainly takes the fun out of things. <sighs> back to work already! Ladies and gentlemen, the Knights of Favonius Acting Grandmaster! You're too kind. Actually, I think we could learn a lot more from your talents. That's why we can place so much trust in you. We didn't want to wake you, but I noticed some white smoke coming from one of the other islands. I think it'd be best if we went and investigated it together. It must be Dodo King! <sighs> Even Paimon's starting to believe that this Dodo King might actually show up! I'm also keen to lay eyes on this so-called Dodo King. All of you, follow me. Let's investigate. Look! There are two figures over there! Hmm... Huh? It looks like... Hmm? Hmm? What the heck are they doing here? It's Kaya and the weird grown-up! Huh. I had no idea we'd run into you here. An unexpected pleasure. What are you two doing here? Huh? So it's not Dodo King? Hmm. Dodo King. Huh. So it was Dodo King that invited you to these islands. What a coincidence. What do you mean? I'll get to that. But first, I want to enjoy some more of this island sunshine. Master D. Luke might actually get a tan. Wait, did you two sail here? How did you get past the storms and fog? Storms and fog? We must have gotten lucky. When we arrived, there wasn't a patch of fog in sight. Now it feels like I'm on vacation. But as you know, a boat wouldn't have made it over. We had no choice but to use the same method of transport you did. Huh? You mean Devalin carried you here too? You seem surprised. Dragon flights are a fairly conspicuous affair. Eye-catching, one could say. Wait, so everyone found out that I... It would seem that people noticed a dragon, but not necessarily the cargo. Still, word spread quickly that a dragon was in town. Oh, thank goodness. Who knew that everyone's favorite bard had the power to summon dragons? I guess Devalin must be a die-hard fan of classical ballads. Wow! <laughs> I... I assume you two traveled here together? <laughs> you assume? The acting Grandmaster's jokes have improved of late. Do we seem like fitting travel companions to you? <laughs> there were actually two others that arrived with us on the island. They wandered off for various reasons. Various reasons? Let's just say that big egos aren't conducive to team cohesion. <laughs> An incisive observation. Nothing ever gets past the honorary knight. So, who were the two others? Albedo and Razor. Huh? Albedo and Razor? Yay! Don't tell us you all came here for a vacation! Wait, Kaya, if you're here, who is overseeing the Knights of Favonius? The mighty librarian Lisa, of course. Not to worry. In some ways, she's stricter than either of us. Any evildoers in Mondstadt need to watch out for the next several days. Thankfully, Lisa's there. Um, where did Albedo and Razor go? Also, what was that white smoke I just saw? Ah, yes. That. I should start with how we ended up here. We arrived by dragon, but as soon as we entered the island's vicinity, something caught Razor's eye. 
he jumped straight off of the dragon's back and vanished into the ocean. We worried that he'd be in danger, so we also leapt off the dragon and glided onto this island. But as you can see, this is but a deserted land. Based on previous experience, I decided that it would be best to wait for contact, while Diluc believed that Razor wouldn't return to find us. During our little dispute, Albedo quietly disappeared on us. Hold on! How come he was able to walk off, but you two are stuck here? <laughs> Who knows? Perhaps we're fated to be doomed together. Right, Master Diluc? <sighs> Is that so? Albedo is an alchemist, and skilled at his craft. If I could use those beautiful artificial flowers of his, it would be a simple affair to traverse these islands. For some reason, I remember that our initial landing zone was the island over there with the higher mountains. Only at your insistence did we change course and land here. Oh my, but your footsteps melted the water that I took such effort to freeze. Who made Cryo and Pyro so incompatible? If you had a geovision, I'd be long asleep on one of the other islands. Oh, so what I saw earlier was just steam from vaporized water? Pyron still can't tell if you guys are really close or hate each other's guts. Uh, regardless, things seem to be livelier now, which is good. Yes, it is a boon to have extra allies in an unknown situation. You two, please join our travels. Sure. But of course. Our top priority is to find Albedo and Razor. Do you know which direction they went? For now, it's impossible to locate Razor. As for Albedo, he went that way. Then there's no time to lose. Let's go look for him. Oh, this island is really big. Where could he be? Mr. Albedo! Albedo, come out! Hmm? Is that the Traveler and Paimon? Whoa! He just came out of nowhere behind us! Mr. Albedo! Hello, everyone. Hello, Klee. I thought that we might convene around this time. I trust you enjoyed your stroll? How kind of you to maroon us on that neighboring island. Oh, please don't mention it. I felt that the two of you could do with some alone time. Albedo, why did you come here? I received a letter. On the way over, the four of us shared what we knew. A mysterious letter appeared outside each of our doors. They were all signed Dodo King. Anyone else find it hard not to crack a smile when Master Diluc says, Dodo King? Everyone's letter was different. And yet all of them drew us to this archipelago. My letter was very simple. I have Klee. If you wish to see her, come to the Golden Apple Archipelago. Oh, that's blackmail! Dodo King's trying to coerce you! Correct. It would appear that I have been successfully coerced. My letter was similarly straightforward. Among the deserted islands, you will find a sunken pirate ship. Within lies great treasure and long-lost antique vases of incredible rarity. <laughs> it would appear that someone came to learn of the circumstances surrounding the eye patch that my grandfather left me. Classic Kaya. Does anyone have a clue what he's talking about? Anyway, so what's your story, D. Luke? There is an Abyss Order stronghold among the deserted islands. Make haste. You have to admire their strategy. The right bait for the right fish. So strange. They're all personalized. But why did Dodo King gather everyone here? <sighs> this is indeed a mysterious case. I never trusted the letter to begin with. Yes. It would appear that the grown-ups among us came here primarily to understand what was behind the curtain. Uh, didn't Razor get a letter too? He did, though he couldn't read it. A certain kind-hearted, cat-eared gentleman that he encountered on the way over was able to relay the contents to him. 
A kind-hearted cat-eared gentleman? On the way over? Oh, Paimon knows, Paimon knows! It must be Drift, right? The content of Razor's letter was no more complex. The Red Bernie girl has gone to the islands. She needs help. Having heard the contents of the letters, it became abundantly clear that something wasn't right. I don't believe this so-called Dodo King exists, but there is someone or something with a reason for luring us here together. No, no! Dodo King is real! He's... he's Dodo King! <sighs> if you say so. Something caught Razor's attention on the journey over, or he wouldn't have leaped from the dragon's back. I've examined this island. His footprints are nowhere to be found, and there's no sign of a boat having left. Based on our position and bearing when he made the jump, if he didn't land here, then he must have made his way over there. You've already been there? We were there a few days ago! There was a mysterious machine. Jean said that it came from Inazuma! Hmm... Could that be what caught Razor's attention? Everyone, let's head to the central platform. Look! Over there! Razor! Everyone, I am here. Razor, are you okay? Are you hurt? Do you need healing? No need. Okay. I smelled something. This, give to you. What's this? Is this a part of the machine? Clear smell. Same as letter. Hmm. Razor did mention that his letter had a peculiar smell. You sure have a great sense of smell, Razor. Oh, did Dodo King factor that in too? Also, this one and that one? <laughs> Same smell. Oh? This thing? Put inside metal person. Same. Here. Yes, I don't understand how. Traveler is clever. Razor trusts. Yeah, Klee trusts the honorary knight too! Not so fast. We need to think this through. What will happen if we reinsert the missing component? This Inazuman machine could well be something that Dodo King left here for us to find. And activate. It might reawaken Dodo King himself. Then we will be ready for him. Honorary Knight, prepare yourself. Klee really wanted to meet Dodo King. That's why we came here, right? Wait! Did it... Did it move? Let your guard down. Help! Everybody, stand back! Adventure to Crystals? Oh, let's hope your faith in me is not misplaced. Before we get to the crystals, well, why don't we start with the machine itself? Our previous conjecture was correct. This giant in Inazuman attire is a machine modeled on the human form. Was it built for fighting? Like ruin guards? I'm afraid so. 
It possesses significant combat capabilities, and seems to be autonomous. But for it to attack us indiscriminately like this, I believe it must have been damaged some time ago. Its outward appearance confirms its Inazuman origin. But, as far as I know, Inazuma is still under the Sakaku Decree. How could such a massive piece of offensive weaponry have found its way here? It seems the answer to that question disappeared with the people that used to inhabit this archipelago. People? I'm sure the shrewdest among you have already come to the same conclusion. These deserted islands bear signs of human activity. I would go so far as to infer that this archipelago once held a human population. They were most likely visitors from elsewhere, not indigenous to the islands. They may have spent a long time here before finding a way to return home. Since then, the island has been empty, with only a few scattered remnants of the past. As for the crystals... Hmm... They've been manufactured from a particularly rare type of ore. Transparent. I believe they must have a specific function. We found a pile of stones and small flowers nearby. Do you think there's any connection? That sounds like someone wanted to commemorate the machine. Yes, I had a look at it myself. Uh, how can I put it? It almost feels like someone left a heartfelt offering of... Gratitude! Hmm... I see. And what about the rest of you? Who do you think would want to commemorate a machine in this way? Perhaps someone who was truly grateful. Only people that had benefited directly from the machine would leave a memorial like this. If the machine coexisted with that first group of humans, then the memorial isn't so hard to understand. Of course, this is only a hypothesis. Coexisted? You mean before it became damaged? Hmm, I wonder what exactly happened to it. Hmm. There is a hilly chill presence here. Perhaps this machine's indiscriminate attack is actually supposed to be targeted at hilly churls to protect the inhabitants. An unlikely coincidence, I would have thought. In any case, this is all speculation. If we want to get to the bottom of it, we'll need more evidence. Yes, though we don't have any clues to go on, we should sweep the area again soon. But first, let's focus our attention on the problem at hand. Look, another letter! It must be Dodo King! A letter? Quick, read it! Mysterious Dodo King, Mysterious Dodo King. He sleeps alone on the southwesterly isle. The bad child made him wait too long. The days grow dark, the stars are rising. Greedy spirit, greedy spirit, you made the moon run a ring. Keys of three colors guarded by a strange fish, the secret lies here. Do you dare to proceed? More cryptic riddles? What could it mean? Does it have anything to do with those crystals? And also, Southwesterly Isle? Now, which island would that be? I'd say it's about time we went and investigated instead of standing here making wild guesses. We've looked all over these islands, but there's nothing interesting here. There is two? The island over there is really weird. It has a big, huge, round thingy on it. Klee, did you go off by yourself without authorization again? Oh, sorry. I just wanted to go for a walk. As long as you didn't activate any mechanisms. <sighs> Even if it seems completely empty here, it's easy to run into danger when you're by yourself. Klee, next time you want to go anywhere, please tell me first, okay? We'll go together. How does that sound? I thought Master Jean is always busy with other things. You really mean it? Of course. Yay! Okay! <sighs> Where does she get the energy? If Paimon didn't know better, Paimon would think that Jean was Klee's mother. You know, I had the exact same thought just now. Kaya. <laughs> My apologies, Acting Grandmaster. Honorary Knight, let's go and take a look. Is this 
this a shield? Hmm. Doesn't look very solid, though. Seems like some kind of energy shield. Careful, all of you. Don't touch it. It might send us flying for all we know. Hmm. Big shield, big shield! <laughs> Klee knows you're in there! Hey, Dodo King, it's me, Klee! Come out and face me! No answer? Huh. Maybe he's not here. No, he's gotta be here! The bigger the shield, the better Dodo King must be! Sounds like Klee logic to Paimon! Oh, I think Klee's right. It's such a huge energy shield. There must be some reason for it to be here. A reasonable inference. I agree. An energy shield needs an energy source. If we can find the connected devices to the source, we should be able to destroy it. Let's all look for any potential devices in the vicinity. Ready? Steady? Da da da! Klee, walk! Don't run! Come on! You don't want to finish last place, do ya? Let's go! Quick! Look! Look! Hmm. This does look like it could have something to do with the shield. Three devices in total. And look, the light converges in one place. Albedo, are we able to deactivate the shield from here? Hmm. These light-emitting devices each have a small frame in front of them. Looking at the shape here, it seems like something is supposed to be fixed in place. What shape is that? Um, I don't get it. Someone explain. An oblong circle. Fan-shaped, I suppose. Hmm, what could it be? We're by the ocean. This shape is a seashell, perhaps? But all the shells we've seen were either bigger or smaller than this shape. If it's not a shell, then it's got to be... Huh, a fish scale. A fish scale? But why would we want to put a fish scale there? Are there any other clues around? Whatever it is, we'd be placing it into the frames in front of the light emitting device. Which means... Right! I've never seen anything like this. <gasps> So that's what they're for! If I'm not mistaken, this is a very particular type of installation. Light is integral to its function. I've seen similar designs elsewhere. The light has to meet certain requirements or emit on a specific path. The mechanism is only activated if the light conditions are met. It would appear that these three installations are the keys to activating the energy shield. Would you look at that? The light being emitted is white, but the installations themselves each have their own color. Red, blue, and yellow. Yes, just like letter. Keys of three colors guarded by a strange fish. Huh, that's right. Honorary Knight, didn't that big machine we just defeated drop something? Light red like flower petals, light blue like ocean waves, light yellow like autumn leaves. It looks like these three crystals might be the answer to this whole riddle. Give precious things to the greedy spirit in the sea. Huh, is that what we have to do? If my understanding is correct... Huh. Honorary Knight, I suggest that you place the crystals in the sea. I believe that this greedy spirit is most likely an ocean-dwelling fish. If the crystals do attract it to us, then we're a step closer to obtaining our fish scales. So that's the plan! In that case, Paimon's got something to say. On the way over, Paimon saw a huge conch shell with lots of fish swimming around it. If we're placing the crystals in the sea, then surely that's the best place to do it! Plus, the water is pretty shallow over there. It'll be easy to get the crystals back if the plan doesn't work. It will work. Don't jinx it. Okay, okay. It'll work. Everyone follow Paimon! That should do it, right? But where are the fish? Clee. Was there anything else on that letter? Oh, uh, um, what was it? 
Greedy spirit, greedy spirit. You made the moon run a ring. So... Maybe this type of fish only comes out after dark? Or to put it another way, we're gonna be here all night. <laughs> Catch fish. Eat. Yeah, yeah! Let's go fish blasting! Hey! Hold on, Klee. Will Master Jean come too? Jean said if Klee wants to go anywhere, she must tell Jean, and then we can go together, right? Uh, y yes I did say that. <sighs> All right then, time to go fish blasting with Klee. Uh, is Paimon hearing things? Jean and Klee are gonna go fish blasting? It's way worth it. The fish will taste so good. This is a deserted island, so explosions shouldn't trouble anyone. It's just a bit of relaxation, right? Find some fish! Find some fish! Let's go! There! Mini fish! Please gonna get there first! Wait! Wait! Whoop! There they go! Well, if Razor is going then, I suppose it's fine. Once everyone is settled in, I will go after them. Is it time for a break already? Fantastic! I was just thinking about taking a stroll. Meaning, you're off on another pirate treasure hunt? <laughs> Who knows? These are big islands. There are bound to be more than a few secrets hidden away. Captain Kaya's on the case. <sighs> Master D. Luke, aren't you interested in pirate treasure? Hardly. I'm more interested in peace and quiet. Paimon doesn't think you'll settle for nothing to do. Amuse yourselves however you see fit. I'm taking my leave. For a bunch of grown-ups, they really can't sit still for more than a few seconds. So restless. At least Albedo's able to sit and enjoy the... Huh? Albedo! Albedo said that he wanted to spend some time alone painting. Jeez, what's up with everyone? Seems like we're all overdue for a vacation. It's not often that we get a taste of island living. I'm not surprised that everyone wants some time to themselves. Everyone should enjoy the break while it lasts. I'll convene everyone when the fish arrives. <sighs> I suppose we have let our focus drift a little. But at the end of the day, you can't deny that this ocean view really is something. Traveler, make sure you take a little time to enjoy yourself, too. No, I... I was just... <sighs> What I mean is, I hope you enjoy yourself here. No matter what is waiting for us down the line, I will protect everyone, especially Klee. This is my duty as the acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. That's Jean for you. Always reliable. Traveler, thank you. It is nice of you to say so. Anyway, I hope we can all find moments of peace and happiness on this beach. It should be about time to check on the fish. Let's meet up with everyone first. Honorary Knight, over here! As we suspected, they were drawn to the crystal. Catchy, catchy fish! Ah, no, no! Uh, to keep Klee from blowing up the fish to pieces, perhaps it'd be better to let us catch the fish? After all, we're experts at collecting all manner of wildlife. And that's all of them! We should have all the fish scales now! Miss Honorary Knight, are you gonna place the fish scale? Too bad I can't reach that high. Okay! But actually, I don't really understand this part. So if you place them for me, it'll be fine. I trust you. Then we'll place the fish scales and let Klee activate the final and most important mechanism. Okie dokie! I'm gonna finally see you, Dodo King. <laughs> Time to see what you really look like. I must say, Klee's incredibly excited. You can do it, Miss Honorary Knight. I'm cheering for you. Yay! It's 
my turn now, right? Yep! We'll leave that mechanism over there to you, Klee! Okay! Huh? Yep, I got it! Uh... <sighs> Klee, what's wrong? I... I'm worried. What if Dodo King really is in here? And what if he doesn't allow me to become Dodoko's family? Or if I lose to him... Then Dodoko can't be with me and Mom will be very sad too. Dodoko is my bestest friend that Mom ever gave me. I... I'm too scared to press it. <laughs> Miss Honorary Knight, can you press the button for me? Why? Yes, we're all here for you. Don't worry, Klee. We've all got your back. No matter who the enemy is, as long as we're here, you don't have to be afraid. Perfect. I also want to see how strong the enemies on this island really are. Go. I'm here. Guys, don't say things like that. What if Dodo King just wants to invite Klee to his house to chat? Or, yes, maybe he already approves of Klee. Will he really approve of me? Why wouldn't he? You've always tried your best and have done a good job. Really? Alright! Leave this to me! Press, press, press the button! be confused. What is this? This entire island is like a massive gift box hidden beneath the energy shield. There seems to be something over there. Shall we take a look? Yes, I want to look. Wicked girl of flame, you have finally arrived. I've waited far too long. How very boring. You dare face me, the overlord of the Dodo clan, Dodo King. Such glorious courage. Though such courage is admirable, but it is now meaningless because... Because Dodo King is me! <laughs> Your mother, Alice. Huh? Mom? Wait, Alice? The person who wrote the Tevet travel guide? Klee and her fellow islanders. Hey there! So, how did you like it here? Was it fun? Summer skies and the ocean surf, mm, quite the vacation, no? There's no use looking for me. I'm not actually near you. The speaking device on the platform before you is none other than my personal creation, the Alice phonograph. I'm using it to convey a mother's love. Uh, you can't be serious. Hey, I didn't scare you all off, did I? Sorry, Mike Lee loves playing with all sorts of small toys. As her mother, I naturally want to support her. These toys aren't small at all! Please... M mother It's a pity that I can't meet you, but I'll be watching your every move from afar, just as always. It was actually Alice. <sighs> How careless of me. Wait, what? You might find all of this a bit odd. Why would a mother so far from home expend so much effort to create such an aquatic wonderland? Ding, ding, ding. That's correct. I've personally been to those islands. I absolutely adore the ancient ruins and unique landscape. I prepared everything so you all could take part and enjoy the islands as well. Please, mother also seems to have quite the free spirit. <laughs> Are any of you saying bad things about me now? Uh, no! Is she listening to us? No need to be so troubled. What do you mean? 
Klee's mother, Alice, is an extremely enigmatic and near-omnipotent sorceress. Don't be overly concerned. This is just her character. You must have been curious about what was behind those letters. The boats, the buoys, the energy shield. Mm. Actually, I thought it was a lot of effort, but this was the only way to invite everyone here. Am I right? The islands are just full of stories. The original inhabitants, shipwrecks, mystical machinery. Countless coincidences converge here. It would have been such a waste if I didn't make these arrangements. Now, let me guess. Everyone who received a letter should be present. Kaya, Diluc, Razor, Jean, Barbara. And then there's the reliable and intelligent Albedo. And the mysterious traveler. And her good companion, Paimon. You were all invited by me to accompany Klee. Thank you all for allowing my daughter to have a memorable summer. Everything on the islands is a gift for you all. As thanks for keeping my little Klee company. But when you hear this recording, I'll already be traveling in other faraway lands. The life of a traveler is such haste and amusement. <laughs> Ask the traveler next to you and you'll know. So Alice went to all these lengths because she was too busy to be with Klee? No, Mom's just like that. Now, everyone, if you're trying to find some hidden meaning in all this, I must tell you that the situation isn't as complicated as you may think. The reason why I like the city of Mondstadt is that its freedom is exactly what my daughter and I could ever hope for. My wish is simple. I want Klee to grow up with a curious yet kind heart. As long as she so desires, she can do anything and go anywhere. So that's it. Well, I must admit that it certainly fits Alice's style. My apologies. I misunderstood. It must be nice to have a mom who's such a character. Yep, Mom is the bestest mom. Mom, we caught fish, sailed a boat, went swimming, and played a lot of things. Everyone's been super duper amazing and very kind to me. Next time, you can come with us and we can all play here again. It appears that mother and daughter are kindred spirits, both wild and free. Ah, oh, Summer. Speaking of summer, when I went to those islands, it also happened to be summer. Sitting on the beach, listening to the waves roll against my feet, I thought of you. Klee, you are a child of summer, a present to me from the sea and the wind. Mom is thankful for your birth and wanted to give you something. So, Mom dressed up these islands, transformed the ancient ruins into a summer park, and used the moniker of Dodo King to invite you. In another world, there are tales of a wondrous island named after golden apples. Known by many names, it embodies the majestic vistas conjured by human fantasy. Mom loves that story and wanted you to enjoy the wonderful things in it. So Mom gave you sapphire waters, pearly sands, a fantastical paradise. For you and for those who love you. Huh. So there were only three crystals. Light red like flower petals, light blue like ocean waves, light yellow like autumn leaves. Perhaps from Alice's perspective, this archipelago is the natural fourth crystal. Located in the middle of the sea and covered by plant life, it truly is a lustrous and emerald summer crystal. Klee, just like Mom, you are of a race blessed with longevity. For us, time is like a gust of wind, moments come and end. In such a long life, parents are but a child's first connection. Even though we don't want to be separated, there will come the day when you must walk your own path, Klee. Mom will always love you, but there are also others by your side. Friends who accompany you, teachers who educate you, people who are willing to stay on an island for you despite knowing how unusual it is. Ah, oh, summer is for everyone. No matter how life changes, no matter how many things happen this year, summer will never disappear. Just like the love between people. From now on, regardless of wherever you go, I hope you never forget how many people in this world love you. Oh yes, be sure to listen to Mr. Albedo at home. Mom will regularly return to see you two. Actually, whenever I have a moment to spare, I sneak back to check on you and everyone else. <laughs> Has no one noticed? <laughs> Aunt Alice, the same as ever. You 
don't think Albedo knew from the start, do you? Huh? Uh, time's almost up, so I'll stop here. Right, right. I spent a lot of effort on this place, so you all must play your hearts out. Everyone, my darling Klee. See you next time. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Dodo King was actually Mom. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm very happy. Nope. Mom is the most strongest mage, so she can keep me company no matter where she is. She never lets me feel lonely. I love Mom this much. Miss Honorary Knight, do you love Klee? I also love you very much. You have to play with me lots here or else Mom will be disappointed. I still have a lot of jumpy dumpties and I brought Donoko here too. I'll take you swimming and fish blasting. <sighs> it's always fun when we're with you, Klee. Hey, come on. Let's not keep Klee waiting. Come on, let's go. So this was Alice's handiwork all along. The letter I received certainly makes a lot more sense now. She's quite a remarkable person. You must meet her if you get the opportunity. Even if she does bring her fair share of trouble with her. Well, then again, I don't mind trouble when it's interesting. Huh? Did I ever guess what was going on, you ask? <laughs> Not a chance. I'm much too naive. I was in the dark the whole time. Mommy is the bestest person in the whole wide world. Albedo knows. She knows everyone. I'm sure she knows Miss Honorary Knight. Because Mom can do anything. When she comes back, we have to go and find her. She's a really good person. Miss Honorary Knight will definitely like her. I had no idea that any of this could have been Alice's creation. Now that I know the truth, there is a certain sweetness to the scenery all around us. Such a beautiful summer. What could be a better gift? Oh, speaking of which, I still have a promise to keep to Klee. Those fish won't blast themselves. Traveler, would you like to take part in a bit of innocent recreation? Please don't look at me like that. If we'd solved the riddle at the beginning, then the game wouldn't have been much fun now, would it? This archipelago suits you, and Klee. Don't you think so? Summer, islands, ocean, even if it is essentially just an ocean playground. It's perfect for those on the move. You could spend a wonderful summer here. So, it was her all along. I might have known. Alice is the only one in all of Mondstadt that could have pulled this off. Well, her and that bard. Those letters were actually invitations. I guess that makes us the guests to the party. <laughs> Which means that in her heart, we're all a bunch of children. I haven't been taken for a child in a long time. I... not understand, but... feels warm. Like... like blanket. Soft. Warm. This is... mother feeling? Mother is... also Lupicol. Very good. This whole island is a chunk of Mondstadt Mountain. A great force dislodged it from the mountain range and cast it into the sea. As it fell, it began to spin and ultimately landed upside down. Hence the topography you see today. Rather interesting. Another masterwork by the Animo Archon Barbados, no doubt. D. Luke, you're a man who knows his own mind. So help me decide. Is it seabird hunting time? Or seashell collecting time? What is that supposed to mean? Come now, D. Luke, be nice. Do you really want to stay here and do nothing at all? We might as well find a way to pass the time. 
I simply thought collecting seashells might be fun. It was last time. Although, we were much younger then. I didn't know you still remembered anything from back then. <laughs> the fish from here must taste amazing! Clay really wants to try one! Alright, let's go catch some fish together. But we need to be quiet, okay? We mustn't let my big sister find out. Really? You like eating fish too? <laughs> I sure do, but I like catching them even more. When we were kids, my sister and I used to go catching fish together sometimes. Oh, she might look super serious now, but let me tell you, when she was a kid, she was so much fun. She even had a pet tortoise. <laughs> Can you imagine? Strange com... component. Razor hungry. Hungry for... fish. Water on the left, and on the right, more water. <laughs> 